Welcome to part four of the Runabout USS Ganges build-up. Um, currently, at the moment, investigating uh, the lighting uh, on the door hatches that are in the cockpit. Um, on the last video, I did say that I, you know, thought that they would look good lit, but I didn't think I was going to do them because. Uh, it was going to take a bit of time and a bit too much effort really for something that you're not going to see however um, as with many modelers my OCD kicked in unfortunately um, <laughs> and what I've done is on the starboard side door um, I've removed the uh, bit of resin there that was the light source as you can see there um, and I've sculpted a piece of uh, clear sprue into the uh, shape that I needed for the light now what I did to, uh, to begin with to be fair is um, <clears throat> I left uh, th these parts on um, before I did anything else and all I did was I just went round and with the clear sprue used uh, my file uh, sorry my um, my hobby drill to actually get the clear sprue um, sanded down far enough that I could just then go in with uh, you know various little different files um, to, to be able to uh, get the shape finalized that I needed and then basically cut it off the edge there and then checked it on the model and it does actually look all right um, as you can most probably see there I've got uh, a little light source uh, set up that's one of the golden white SMDs uh, that's connected to a 10k resistor um, I love my 10k resistors now because they do actually bring the light levels right down which is great and that's just hooked up to a little battery at the moment so what I'll do is I'll get this set up so you can see what it looks like it will take a, a couple of seconds just to uh, position everything so if you bear with me a second whilst I'm doing this okay so now we need to get the little uh, plastic bit in Okay, it's just going to take a second. This is quite fiddly still. I just need to try and get that in position as much as possible. Okay, I think that will about do it. So let's have a look, see if we can zoom in. So there you go. You can actually now start to see what that's looking like. Uh, lit up and then if I just turn that light out and hopefully you should be able to see um, that you're not getting an intense glow coming from that you know it's not like in your face bright it's just kind of the right level of brightness that you need coming from that what I'll do is I'll just take you off the uh, stand I'll just zoom back out again and then I'll take you off the stand so we are going to get a bit bumpy here guys so let's just uh, turn, there you go, so you can actually see that a little bit better and then if we take it from a top view, you can see the light escaping through the side there because there is a hole there, but you can see there that that is just like a nice, a nice glow coming off of that, so I'm quite happy with uh, the way that that's worked out. 
So what I'll do is I'll put you back on the stand so you don't get seasick. There we go. So I think what I'll do is, um, as I've done in the, uh, or oh, sorry, as I did in the, uh, the Deep Space Nine space station build up, I've done that little fun bit to show you through the process of doing the windows. Um, I'll do the same with this, um, just so you can see kind of how I've done it really. Um, as I say, I'll do that in supersonic uh, speed as well for you. So you won't have to sit there and watch the whole thing from beginning to end because it, it does take a little while to do. So if uh, you bear with me a second guys, I'll just get this all set back up again so I can go in and get this one sort sorted out for you. Uh, I'll be back in a second. Welcome back. Uh, okay, so this is the piece of uh, clear sprue that I'm going to use to uh, make the light that goes there. And <coughs> this is the, the hobby drill that I'm going to be using. Um, it's a fairly old one, to be honest with you. It does come from uh, a well known shop. Uh, that's now gone broke. Um, this is uh, this is actually quite old. Um, a friend of mine who's uh, passed away uh, nearly 11 years ago bought me this um, about 15, 16 years ago, and it's something that um, I'll never replace. Actually, to be quite honest, because it was one of the last things that he brought me. So um, I still use this. It's a variable speed. It may be a little bit chunky in comparison to some of the Dremel ones out there, but I tell you what, it still does the job. So I'm going to uh, start with the uh, the piece of sprue, and uh, I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so that is now <coughs> the right dimensions for what I need. It's just about the right height. So what I now need to do is just go back in and start uh, shaving the sides, or sorry, sanding the sides uh, down and the top so we can get that gentle curve uh, on it. So uh, let's go. Okay, and as you can most probably see there, we've got the uh, the gentle curve uh, that we uh, that we wanted on it. And then if we uh, get this, <laughs> this is going to be the tricky part. There we go. So if we put that uh, to that, you'll be able to see that that does follow the. Uh, the curve quite nicely. So all that's left to do now really is to um, sand off this bit and then we'll be able to test. So <coughs> back with the uh, trusty drill. Yep and as you can see that fits uh, quite nicely. So I just now need to uh, snap this off. I always snap a little bit too much off. Uh, <laughs> that was like a flying bullet. And then I can just line this up on here. If I can uh, find the curve that goes the right way around. That's it. Yeah, we got it. I just need to hold that in place now. And uh, 
take off the uh, the edge. Uh, there we go. Let's uh, zoom in for you so you can see what it looks like. Whoop, wrong way. Whoop, wrong way again. Sorry, guys. There you go. So that's uh, so that's what that looks like now. That's on. So that's the whole process of uh, getting one of those uh, to light up. So uh, <laughs> once I've uh, once I've managed to get hold of the controls of my camera properly, I am doing it the uh, the wrong way round to what I'm normally do. So that's about it for uh, for the moment, guys. I'm going to carry on and get the other one done and suffer some more. Um, so I will be back to you in a while back with you for another progress update I've managed to get uh, the other one of the cabin doors finished so that's looking quite good um, I've also finished off all of the uh, the little bits of uh, clear sprue so they're looking good and I've basically named them uh, and put them in their own little bits of uh, tape so I don't lose them um, and I just keep those in a bag and then when I'm ready I just take those out so they're looking, uh, they're looking fairly good. So all I've got left to do to these doors now is just give them a quick respray where uh, unfortunately we've uh, rubbed down some of the paint. I also need to get in the uh, strips of styrene to simulate the different panels. And I also need to do the same to this as well. Uh, this took a little bit of time to mask off because of all the little curves on there and all the little fiddly, fiddly angles. That took a, a little bit of time to mask off and get that painted, but that's done now and looking good. I've also uh, need to put different panels on this one as well. And the same with this as well. I just need to get some different panels on there and then those will be done. Uh, the only bits really that are left to work on are these little three bits uh, in here. So we've got this little ladder thing, which I thought to begin with uh, was a bunk bed. Uh, it's actually not. That is the supports for the arms of the, the chairs in the, uh, in the uh, crew cabin. And then this little strip here of uh, half round are the table legs for the table. And then this part forms the armrests as well on the chairs for the crew quarters. And then at the back there, these little uh, these little bits here are the uh, feet. And they will attach to these little chairs that we showed you in the previous update. So that's them done. Uh, the other thing that we've done as well is the tabletop for the crew quarters. Not sure if you're going to see the gloss on that. If I just move it around a bit in the light, you might be able to get a bit of a glint off of that. But uh, that was sprayed in satin black. And then I used automotive uh, clear gloss lacquer uh, just to go over that to bring the shine right up on that. So that looks good. That looks really, really good in, in, uh, in person. So that's done. I've also got the... Uh, the lighting panel sorted out now for the cockpit 
Uh, basically, I just used some uh, wet and dry on this 600 grit and just went over, went over on both sides. And then on one side, I went over it with the uh, matte clear varnish just to help bring that right down. Uh, and if I just get the torch and shine it for you, be able to see that that gives quite a nice glow. That's you can't really see any uh, pinpoint of light coming through there, which is absolutely fantastic. So all I need to do is get that installed. I will put another strip just behind that again, just to help bring the light levels right down. And again, with the uh, the lights or the LED strips, because I'm going to use another resistor on those. Hopefully, that should bring that down even more. So that's looking fantastic. The other thing I've been working on are the little figures, uh, two little figures for the inside of the ship. And here they are. Uh, the, this one here uh, was one of the uh, train, uh, sorry, uh, train crew sets, the 1950s style. And if I get his uh, counterpart out of the box, And there they are, <laughs> a little bit fiddly, especially when trying to uh, handle them with one hand. You'll be able to see straight away the difference in the position of the arm. Uh, basically, all I did was amputated it, took some of the uh, the plastic out on the inside to bring the shoulder in a little bit, and then with the elbow joint to actually get the elbow pointing down, I used uh, a little bit of heat from a lighter just to help soften the plastic up so I could then bring the bring the arm down. Once I did that and I was happy with the position, I then stuck it back on with a bit of super glue and then went over the uh, the cut mark with a little bit of um, squadron putty and then filed that down. So he looks pretty good now. And you can see I've gone for uh, the earlier style uniform. And there's my next little figure. And he will be in the crew uh, quarters. So they're both looking good. And if I just turn around so you can see what they look from the, from the back end. I've tried to uh, approximate the, uh, the stripes as much as I could. They do look good. I don't think they're exactly spot on. But you know what? They, they look pretty good. They look pretty close. So I'm happy with that. The only thing I need to do really is just put a little gold bobble on the uh, the uniform just to simulate the uh, the comms badge and that's uh, that's about it they're uh, pretty much well finished so as soon as I got the styrene strips uh, installed on the various little components and they're painted up um, I will come back to you with uh, another update back with you for an update I made some pretty good progress uh, on the kit now uh, the uh, all of the paneling is on now for the uh, crew quarters uh, cabin and also on the door as well so that's uh, that's taken shape the bulkhead for the uh, cockpit has had the decals added uh, there's three of those you've got the computer console there and there and then you've also got the door release mechanism there and I've also added the little strips of styrene uh, to simulate the uh, the door endings so that's uh, that's looking good. I just need to actually go back in and just paint the inside of those doors uh, in a dark grey, and then that will be finally, finally completed. Uh, I've also got on the uh, the, li the little uh, the crew quarters. Um, I've also got a lot of work done to that now. If we just zoom in for you. So on this uh, the. That chair, uh, the table and the four chairs there, and the little man, and the radiator, and then this little step here, they're all glued down. Uh, <clears throat> the only things I haven't glued down is both of the bunk beds and the rear uh, bulkhead. Uh, the reason for that is because they do need to be uh, glued into the base, or sorry, they need to be glued into uh, the roof section first and then that will sort of sit on there. I also need to get the the windows uh, finalized for that and put those in. The uh, the cockpit 
I've just got that set up for a quick display for you because I, I just want to uh, show you what the light looks like uh, on that. We've got the glass in now, or oh, sorry, the uh, lighting panels in place uh, on the bottom and also on the top. Uh, that I'm not so worried about because you're not going to see that. That's actually on the resin itself. Unfortunately, where I used the uh, the uh, micro uh, crystal clear glue for some reason it's actually lifted the paint up a bit I'm not sure why it's done that but you can't actually see that but you can see the uh, glue you you can't really see my finger at all when I'm running it through there so that's pretty good so I'll set that up uh, for you so you can have a look in a second I'll just show you what the uh, the cabin is looking like up close so that's what that's looking like, and as I say, you can uh, they're all, they're all glued in. Um, they're not going anywhere. Um, the little man, uh, as you can see there on his uniform, uh, that's actually now been completely finalised. He's got his little bobble, uh, little silver bobble, uh, and then a little gold bobble on top of that for his comms badge. So he's looking good. The reason why I've placed him there is when you get this part and um, put it on, that's going to make it look as though he's just staring out the window, either looking at an animal that's going past or he's just deep in thought or something. But I just thought that would end, uh, add a little bit of extra to the uh, to the crew quarters. So that's um, that part there is actually now finished. So I'm I'm happy with that. Uh, that can go to bed until I need it. So if I just get this set up for you, uh, it's going to be a little bit tricky. There's nothing, as I say, nothing is actually uh, glued in here at the moment. So if I just loosely place that on there like so, so I think I might. Uh, <laughs> it's not going my way at all there for the minute. There we go. That's a little bit better. So if we just zoom the camera in a little bit for you so you can see the cockpit and then if we get the torch and just shine that through just at an angle there you can actually see that with the torch it does actually just uh, light that cockpit up quite nicely so with the use of the LED strips in there that should uh, light that area up quite nicely so if I just twist the torch on top of that it can take the weight you can see how nicely that's uh, dispersing the light on the inside of that so I'm again you know I'm, I'm happy with the way that that's progressing so really there's only a, a couple of little jobs uh, left to go on this now before it's complete uh, I'll catch up with you in the next video uh, where hopefully everything will be finalized and all the bits that can be put together have been put together the thing with this kit is the fact that uh, this part has to go into the bottom of the runabout and then this part you have to glue into the top of the runabout and it's practically the same with the uh, with this kit as well you need to put in the uh, computer consoles etc on the top of this and you just need to glue the seats onto that. This again needs to go into the top part of the ship and then that needs to be glued into the bottom part of the ship and then hopefully when you marry the two together <coughs> they will meet up at the correct angles. Um, that's, that's the theory so let's hope that works out in practice. So I'm just going to carry on and get the last few bits done. Uh, I just need to get all the parts uh, installed in this now and then uh, run the lights through for the little uh, windows there uh, sorry for the, uh, the the SMDs for the the lights on the on the doors uh, and I also need to get the uh, the lights finalized for either side of that as well uh, so that's going to take a little while but hopefully you know in the next video I'll be able to finish this off for you so we can actually then uh, progress onto the model I know it's taken a while to do this, but I've never worked with a resin kit like this before. Uh, so I just deliberately really took my time because I didn't want to ruin it because it was uh, was quite expensive at $75. So 
So that's going to be about it, guys. Uh, I'll catch up with you in the next video. So uh, thanks for watching, and please do take care.